Outside Charleston, South Carolina, Highway 17 looks like another southern country road. It's actually a working art gallery of sweet grass baskets. All of the basket makers are artists. No matter how they work on their basket, they all are considered an artist. Henrietta Snipe, now 63, has woven baskets since she was seven. It's more than a family tradition. This was a way of putting food on the table. Still is a way, because um, some people never, never did anything else but basket. They never did anything else but just do baskets, and this was a survival. What does it represent to you? You know, I tell people when I do this basket, it reflects my entire community. I never look at the basket and say, ah, oh, this is what I do, this is what my family do. I represent a community. That community is the Gullah, descendants of West African slaves first brought to coastal South Carolina and Georgia in the early 1700s. They wove baskets from native grasses and plants out of necessity. Before these baskets became art, they were tools. Charleston was a place that grew a lot of rice. This particular design was used on the plantation. When the slaves would go out and gather the rice, they would put it in this particular style basket. And they put all, the, all of the rice after they gather it, put it in here, and then they would throw it up in the air and you feel the breeze. The grasses for the baskets grow wild. Lynette Eusen took us to one field. We're standing in sweetgrass? We are standing right in the middle of sweetgrass. Sweetgrass is this green item here. What we do, we take a handful, put our foot on the root, hopefully, and we pull it out of the ground. And it's just that easy. Her granddaughter, Elise, tagged along. And what will you do with this? I will lay it out in the sun, go spread it out in the sun for about three to five days. Hopefully it dries. When it dries, it shrinks and it'll be a, a beige tone. Free materials, but a lot of labor. You start with the bottom, with a pine needle to the bottom. You tie a knot, and then you work around that knot. It's like crocheting. I can do a basket like this, maybe roughly in about 10 hours. And that would sell for today? Today, this might go for like about 350, 375, That's, which is not too bad. Simple baskets can sell for $40. Elaborate pieces, often prized by collectors, can go for $8,000. We don't want her to hate the art, you know? So she, when she want to get up and play, she can play, but she always come back to do more. Six days a week, Lynette Eusen makes baskets with her mother Marilyn and, and daughter Kimberly. How many generations? I'm a fourth, as far as I can count. And uh, Lynette is a fourth, Kimberly is six, and Elise, at least hoping to be a seventh. Seventh, wow. What goes through your mind when you look at them? Honey, I, I look at love, heritage, you know, because when I'm, when I'm weaving, it seems like I'm in my own world. I don't have a thing to worry about. Mm -hmm.